Getting tight. <laughs> that nice? Does it make you feel a bit better? No, oh, darling. Bless you. Want some food? Oh, come on then. Come on then, cutie. <laughs> and welcome to another vlog now I wasn't gonna film this day I wasn't gonna film this week um, but then I kind of came to the realization that I'm not really one of them people that like tries to gloss over things and if there's you know I'm I'm a realistic person I'm a realist um, I don't really believe in people that are fake and I like to create content that is real but I also like to create content that I enjoy making and other people are going to enjoy watching um not negative things and things that are kind of not happy if that makes sense um not in a kind of corny way but I just like making content that feels good and to be honest the last couple of days haven't felt good at all but I didn't want my channel to look like I'm just showing all the rosy aspects of being a new mum and all the lovely little smiles and baby tiny toes and just the lovely things, um, which it has, it is still the best thing ever. But it's also been really, really shit the last few days. Um, not being a mum, um, but the kind of, circumstances have changed a little bit in the last few days and I didn't want to just not address it I didn't want to or I didn't want to not vlog um so maybe this will just be more of a raw vlog for me um a bit of a realistic day in the life of a newborn um because I know the last few videos that I've put out are all you know lovely and make it look like a dream um when in reality it's far from a dream all the time um, so yeah, I just thought I would clear that up um, to start with and just say that I'm not trying to make motherhood look easy. It is not easy. Um, yesterday was such a write-off. It was awful. Um, as you can see, I have got little Elliot in his um, baby carrier, which has been a lifesaver. It's the baby born, born, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, and it's like mesh, so it's kind of lightweight so they don't get hot. 
Um, and yeah, it's just been a real lifesaver. And especially when Oliver does go back to work and I'm on my own with him. Um, I think this upright position is going to really help him. But he has been a completely different baby the last couple of days. Um, I'd say at least three, well, maybe four days now. Um, he's just not happy baby anymore. Um, he is spending a, a huge chunk of each day crying, screaming, his body language is just like he is in so much pain um and we can't work out his reflux or colic um we thought it was reflux to start with because it was kind of like initially like the minute he finished feeding he was like his back was arching his face was going red he was clenching his fists um and like and there was no other reason that he should have been in pain or upset you know, he had a clean bum, he'd just been fed, so he wasn't hungry. Um, it's just been so hard to figure out what is the matter with him. Um, and it is just so heartbreaking watching him scream in agony and not be able to do anything about it. Um, it has broken me the last couple of days, I'm not going to lie. Um, we just, yesterday we, we actually took him out in the carrier. Um, I'll show you what it looks like actually. Um, Oliver wore Elliot in his carrier yesterday and we just went to a nearby park and had like an hour's walk um, and I'm so glad we made the effort to do that actually because the whole rest of the day was utterly shocking and complete write-off. Um, we didn't wash yesterday, um, we didn't do any it was just like a complete flop yesterday. He was the worst he's been. Uh, we actually bought some gripe water uh, Monday and he had it a couple of times and it seemed to help and um, seemed to sort of soothe him for a little while and kind of calm his um, griping pains, so to speak. But then yesterday it just didn't really work. So Oliver has actually just gone out to um, the chemist to try some Infocol. Um, because we are beginning to wonder now if it is like colicky symptoms rather than reflux because he just shouldn't be screaming like he it was initially like I say it was initially after like just after he'd had a feed but last night he woke up he slept from 9.45 to just after 1 and that is all the sleep that we got last night which isn't like him because he's been sleeping quite well really he's been doing like three to four hours and then like two hours so we've been getting at least five and a half hours sleep most nights but it just was not the case last night he woke up at one and he had like a really good big feed which was good um and we have been trying the minute he's fed to not obviously like lay him straight back down and keep him upright and um, we've been doing all of that and it just kind of didn't really make much difference and i think i went to try and put him back in his snooze pod at um so if he woke up one just before 2 a.m and he just screamed and screamed the minute he, he just like he can't be on his back like the pain or something and i just it was just awful last night it was really really helplessly awful um so yeah we have just had no sleep basically last night and i don't i don't mind having no sleep i don't mind the kind of no sleep part but when he's screaming and you can't do anything about it and crying and so uncomfortable and distressed it's really horrible i mean just now he's just not happy he's not he's not right it's not like he's just changed so much like I look at my phone at this picture that I took of him at the weekend, I think it was the start of the weekend, and he just hasn't been that baby since then, like, whenever he's awake he's unhappy at the moment, and it's really bloody hard and horrible, and I just wish I could take his pain for him, um, it's been really devastating, I'm not gonna lie, um, so, yeah, I wasn't gonna film, I wasn't gonna vlog, but then like I said at the start, I just, I'm not someone that tries to gloss over. He's just not happy. Like, 
I just feel so helpless and awful and just want to take his pain away for him. Um, but he's three weeks old, so I rang up the health visitor yesterday and they didn't really seem very concerned by it. They just said as long as he's doing like wet and dirty nappies and he's well in himself, which yeah, I guess he is, but he just doesn't seem right. Like to us, this just doesn't feel normal or acceptable. Like how can we accept that this baby, this tiny baby is in so much pain and discomfort and there's nothing we can do. It's just really shit, it's shocking. It's 2020 and we don't know the kind of reason for colic or I just don't, don't know what it is. And all we can do at the moment, because he's only been like it for like three or four days, is kind of wait. Um, I think you kind of have to wait a couple of weeks. Um, but it's just awful. So I'm really sorry that this vlog is going to be a bit of a downer. But like I say, I don't want to just gloss over things. Um, because there might be other people that find this video and they're going through exactly the same thing. And... I just, I guess it is normal, you know, they said it is, babies do cry for no reason. And we are just experiencing that at the moment. Um, like I said, the health visitor kind of said it might be a growth spurt, but it's really hard to accept that this is just a growth spurt because it just doesn't seem right. Um, so we're just, I suppose we're going to have to ride the wave at the moment, but... It's been bloody hard. There's been many tears by me and he is not able to cry proper tears yet, but if he could, there would have been many tears from him. Um, yeah. So a bit of a downer from us today, which is not my normal style. I'm a very positive person. Always try and look for the positives in each day, but they're hard to find at the moment, apart from obviously this beautiful boy. But it's just horrible watching him in pain. I don't know if you can hear the noises he's making as well. He's just like grunting and kind of like trashing his body about and writhing about in pain. It's Yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop now because I've been talking for 10 minutes and moaning and complaining and, you know, okay. So yeah, today is going to be not my normal kind of vlog and hopefully um, might help some people, I don't know or give people an insight that if you see a screaming baby and mum and dad can't soothe it, it might not be that it's the mum and dad aren't trying. They definitely are, believe me. <laughs> Is it gonna work? It's been recommended by four different people. Doesn't mean it will work for our baby. We will try though. Yeah. I'm just not happy, are you? So it's been about an hour since Elliot had his last feed. So we bought the um, crib part of the snooze pod downstairs because he's not really had much sleep since 1am, nor have we. And um, I think he's tired, uh, but he's got the hiccups at the minute. I'm trying to put his dummy in because sometimes that helps his hiccups. Yeah. But apparently hiccups aren't a sign of colic, so I have no idea. As you can see, he's a bit agitated. It's not really comfy. A bit fidgety. So, see if he has a little nap. It's not looking like it. You're wide awake. At least he's not screaming at the moment. Please work. We are leaving the house 
to go for a quick walk with this one in his baby carrier. We are home from our little walk and hoping that this one's going to have a little sleep in here for an hour or so. He must be pretty exhausted. It is 22.12 so it's like nearly midday now and I gave Elliot his last feed um, about 11 o'clock um, I think he fed for like 10-15 minutes and then he was screaming in pain again um, so he's had two lots of the Inficol now and um, I've put him down in his snooze pod um, about half an hour after I fed him I kept him upright and sort of stood up with him and rocked him a little bit. Um, so I'm hoping he's going to have a little sleep because I think he really needs it. Um, he's just not slept really since really he's not had a proper nap or like stretch of sleep since 1am really. So he's probably really tired as well which isn't helping. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, the last time the last time I filmed a clip when I said hopefully he's gonna go down for a sleep he didn't he needed his nappy changing and then it was basically like over two hours since he last fed so I was like might as well feed him again so yeah hoping that he's gonna sleep now sleep lasted long didn't it 30 minutes <laughs> I'm woken in pain and agony hopefully this works might just take a while to kick in Okay. Okay. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Help your wind. Going all stiff. It's just, in, it's just in pain. Mm. There's nothing wrong to it. He's in pain. He's clenching his Well, he's asleep and he's been woken up by the pain. Because of pain, yeah. just gets right really bad like from midday <laughs> it's just like inconsolable <laughs> I don't even know what to say <laughs> just horrible It is now about 5pm I think. Oliver's just watering the garden. Uh, it was meant to rain today but it didn't so that's why he's out watering some of the plants. Yeah it's 5pm. Um, this one's just had a, another feed. Uh, he actually slept for a couple of hours in his snooze pods. So that was really good. Um, and so far we are currently just in this position and I'm sort of gently rocking him um, his body language is a bit more relaxed so I'm just keeping him nice and upright and gently and I'm gently gonna rub his back obviously not at the moment so I'm holding the camera um, so yeah it just makes a change for him not to be screaming um, and to have had a nice little sleep so it's gonna make him less cranky if he sleeps and just might help break the vicious circle a bit and um, I've had loads of people message me because I put a post on Instagram with some sort of help and advice so I'm just going to take all the help and advice that people give just willing to try anything um, so yeah I might finish this vlog here because um, it's probably going to be quite a long one um, so I'm sorry if it's not been my usual style but I wanted to share it um, just to open people's eyes and share our experience um, I'll let you know how we get on with the inf call if it works um, in another vlog or something. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. In today's video, we are introducing you to our little baby boy.